I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people. I pray I was I ain't. for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought taste. I was global. They screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. Way. Sometimes I be feel like I don't be doing my part, like as far as uploading the comedians more and yeah. everything. But I'm pretty sure they. they nah, you do, you do, you do your part, you know, because you know you start off with the music, but you, yeah. on, you do them too. I be saying, yeah, it's like, bro, them niggas be consistent with it. Like, like the way I be consistent with music, they be consistent. I'm like, bro, how the fuck you niggas be having all these damn ideas? And they work together. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, they do work together and everything. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we but we do need to see you in both. This my sister house. Meanwhile, in Chicago and Black Chicago be like, we need to see you in all three of them, man. Especially since you've been supporting them, they've been supporting you. Like, I've been man. I've been in corporate uh, things a few times. Which one? Uh, the one when he came out west with Stunt Taylor and Mikey Dollars and all that. Oh, you talking about like that, like one of the old ones when he first yeah, started? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'm talking about, I was thinking about the new one. I'm like, yeah, but I, but I did a whole binge watch on the whole, on everything. I'm like, damn, he really had to work with a lot of people since back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, though, like, that's part of the reason why I remember that suggestion that I was telling you that Batman do the IG videos shit. Yeah. I was trying to get you to do that shit. Like, yeah. like I feel like if you practice, like, you, uh, it's times you, you do, you crack a joke, you be funny as a motherfucker. So it's like, it, yeah, it's I something can that, I can make it happen. You know, yeah. I can do that, but. And this is something Rico Records though said. Everybody in Chicago they be serious, but we all funny as hell. Like, <laughs> I'm, there, I'm like, that's the truth. If niggas be cracking jokes more, people will be laughing more than me. You and know, I, yeah, Rico, Rico, I was recording. I was locked in the studio with him before Duck. Me and Rico was locked in. Me and Rico, shout out Rico Records. Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, two things. One, is Rico Records a Chicago legend? Rico Records a Chicago legend in his way. He in Chicago, yeah, definitely. He is. He definitely is. All right, I was once upon a time doing all his music when he was going crazy with the music. I was the one behind the scenes on that. Yeah. All right, bet. Yeah. And the second thing is, is Rico Records one of the most supportive artists from Chicago? Like, do he always support the Chicago artists, regardless of their talent, they're known or not? Uh, from what you've seen, because mm. when I see him, every time I look at the story, it's always somebody who's from Chicago that may be known or coming up. He's they show support to. Right, right. I don't know about that. I ain't on. I don't know about that. Okay. I don't see that. That's all. Yeah, but he be posting it on the stories. So like, I hate like if you would see it on his page or something like that. But some, yeah, a lot of people gotta be watching the stories to get there. Yeah. To me, sure. Duck was one of the most supportive artists. Yeah. You know, I can say that because like he did, a, he did a like like he spread that juice around. He did songs with everybody. Yeah, and on top of that, he did a whole um, interview with Bo Deal too. He was saying. I support anybody just because of the soul fact they from Chicago because I know how long it took me to get up. Mm -hmm. So if you're from Chicago, you rap, I'll support you. And that, so that was the, those are dark words. I remember when you said that too. Yeah. But right, we finna get ready. We getting close to the end here, so I'm finna just ask the most important questions before we, before we get going. Okay. Now, um, as a blogger, I promote a lot of rappers and everything, and, and there's a lot that I go through behind the scenes. As you can see, I'm a real J1 guy and real nigga outside the shit like. I got, I'm a human too. I got feelings like how everybody else got feelings. Well, it's like for me, what about the rappers I post? Are you aware of who Lil Ron is? Lil Ron, who passed away? Yeah. Yeah, me and Chirac Bands, we got, we got music together. Chirac or Chirac Bands? Salute to you cool. too, man. Yeah, yeah I, I know who Lil Ron is. Him and Chirac was just going crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and when he passed, a lot of people did. That was the usual Chicago story when I even told Mimo this situation. Like, he passed in the form of suicide. A lot of people don't be knowing that. And I'm like, wait, for him to pass a suicide, it's like he's one of the most energetic people of all time. He always good, good energy. He always keep motherfucking happy. And he's he always been turned with music. You would have never suspected that. I got a homie who just uh, killed himself. Yeah. Suicide. Recipes, mommy Jeremy, like five, four, five days ago. Word. Suicide. Oh, man. Close homie, a brother I grew up with since. Man, it's awesome. Oh, do you? Do I guess you understand what it's like to have someone that you might call a friend and everything, and they go through some shit, and you probably don't even notice it. And then when no, it happens, he it's had like, a great job. He had money. He was, life was cool. You know, yeah. He was messed up about him. And it's, and it's like that be that be that be taking a toll on me because like if I'm gonna be calling you my friend, why would I not check up on you? So that's this is a help check. Center. How you feeling, Messi, my guy? I mean, Messi. Yeah. <laughs> Bless. I gotta keep my Messi out of the game. I got you see my children up there, seven of them. Yeah. You know, and all taken care of by me, all live with me. 
So I got to keep my mental focus right and then God is good, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed, man. I ain't, ain't no worries. I know where I come from. So my head always had. I know where I come from to where I'm at now. And, uh, and, and on some real shit though, like, I was, like, let's, like, I ain't gonna lie, from what I've seen, you always been positive. You never had a time where it was, like, all bad for you. But it's, like, for you, like, it, let's say hypothetically you were going through shit. What could we do as a community to help you if you was feeling now? Just talk to your people, man. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do things. I'm gonna do anxiety and I'm gonna do depression. Right before my life started getting great, I went through all that, you know. So uh, what I had to do, I went to talk to a therapist, and I'm not gonna lie to you. You talk, you do therapy. I, I went to talk to a therapist. I had to talk to somebody who can judge me and use it back against me. So I let everything off my chest that I went through in my life, because it was a point in time when I was going through a heavy depression, and anxiety. I was just crying for no reason. And I ain't know why, but it was God really changing my life to the next step to where I came to now. This was me on my way to the top. Music doing good, and I went through it. But uh, I talked to a therapist. I let her know everything that happened in my life, from bad things, good. And uh, I just started feeling better, like, a few days later. You know, you got to talk to somebody who's not going to judge you, anybody. Because people, your people around you, they use things against you. Mm. You know? Right. So. Yeah. And another thing about... Uh G, about G Herbo, he, I, if I remember correctly, like he got his own little youth pro, a program for youth called Swerving Through Stress. It's like basically people who might be, you might be who might have PTSD or anxiety and anything, and they don't know where to go or who to talk to. It's like I think that's a therapy session, like therapy for them, and like a way to help them get through mental battles and anything like that. Right. And it's for you, you you say you make music to motivate. So as far as the youth and everything, so it's like. What's your message to the youth? Like, regardless of they're going through anything or not. It's a lot of people that look up to you, Chris. Like, maybe you might not know it or not. They might want to be just like you one day, yeah. but... And, and, and you're older than them. You know more about the world than they do. So what's your message to the youth that you let them remember? My message to the youth is don't be a follower. Be a leader. Do what you want to do in life. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Don't go doing nothing you don't want to do, whether it's a job or anything. Do what makes you happy. Perfect your craft and stick to it. And, Stay blessed. Do what's right. Treat the world how you want to be treated. Treat the world how you want to be treated. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Simple as that. And um, I'm pretty sure, like normally when I ask rappers for the message to youth, I would ask them, would your younger self take that advice? And I'm pretty sure your younger self would, considering that's what you've always been to this day. Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah, for sure. Facts. Never a follower. Always been a leader, man. Anything I'm doing, always been a leader, man. And my hood will tell you that, my block. My neighborhood, they tell you that. Look, he's always been a leader. He always, everything he do from sports to gang banging to drug dealing to music, always been a leader. And everybody gravitated and follow what I did. Mm -hmm. And anybody around me became, get, get to some money or become successful, you know? All right, bet. And, um, all right. And with that being said, is there a way we can make the youth listen? Because there might be something you might hear this, but me not. It might not get the message. So, do we? Is there a way we can make the youth listen, or somebody be hard headed and just gotta listen? I mean, no, we, listen. Well, you, you, you for come together more like stop with the killing and whatever they doing. If they put more opportunities out here, like sports programs and things for them to do, cameras and working jobs and the right type of jobs that that they have fun with, and put more money out here, mm. you know, because money stop all that. You know, when the PPs and P's was going around, the killing rate was low. Mm. You know, people weren't thinking about killing. They was enjoying their life. They keep us in poverty and fighting in in in, in a bucket and like crabs. So mm. I said, you know. All right, bet. And um, for you, say we got more opportunities for youth. Is there anything that you feel like you could personally do for the youth to give them an opportunity? Yeah, I could start like a studio program. Show them how to work the studio. Um, and I got a love for basketball, like AU teams and basketball leagues, all that type of stuff, for music, that them type of thing. All right, bet. Now, um, to get on to, to the next segment here, um, just to get a good credit with you, said, but normally this is the part where I get to ask, like, I just name a couple of Chicago rappers and you just say anything positive about them. But yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure... There's no limit to who we can all be supportive about, cause there's a lot of people that who might know who know who Lil Chris is, and it's like 
they might want to work with them, but like you said, it was Chicago politics and everything. So now I just want to say, like, I will give you the names, but I'm allowing you because since it's Chicago politics, it might be people who want to work with you but don't know how you feel. Is there anyone from Chicago that you want to give a shout out to just to let you know it's all love to say one thing positive about or to them? Anybody, anybody that comes to mind. 